Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing the premium of an American call option. Suppose we have a 50 strike American call option on an underlying asset with spot price 50 that follows a binomial tree with up motion one point one and down motion point nine. So in other words it's gonna go up point by ten percent or down by ten percent every mo at every single node of the tree and every step is three months. We'll say that the expiration of this option, the option expires in six months. It has, the option expires in six months. The stock has delta equals 0.1 continuous dividends. And the risk-free rate of continuous return is 0 0.05. Okay, so let's find the premium. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll set up our tree. So our tree will start. 50 and it's going up by 10 percent so 40 55 or down by 10 percent so that'd be a 45 so we'll go down over here to 40 nine dollars and fifty cents up to sixty dollars and fifty cents and down to forty dollars and fifty cents so that's the structure of our tree and so what we can do is we can say since this is an American option, the American option will pay off at different nodes. So over here, since it's 50 strike, the payoff over here will be $10.50. The payoff over here is going to be zero, and the payoff over here is going to be zero. So only at the top node of this two-step tree does the American option pay off. We should also note that since it's an American option, I can exercise it early, and I can exercise it at this node 55 and get a payoff at this note of five. So those are all the payoffs of the American option. Now we need to find the risk-free rate of the, the risk-neutral probability. So our P star over here is gonna be E to the R minus delta H minus the down rate over the up rate minus the down rate. And what we can see when we do this problem is we can see this is gonna be E to negative so the step is one half, so we're gonna have a 0 0.25, 0 0.25 for my time step of H. And then I'm gonna have R, 0 0.05 minus 0 0.1 for the dividend rate, minus 0 0.9 over 1.1 minus 0 0.9. And when we plug this into the calculator, we see that this probability is 0 0.25614. And so on, so that's my risk neutral probability. And so now what we can do is we can write down the valuation of the stock. So at this note, I have my risk neutral probability, I have the discount factor. So if I bring back the value, the premium, according to this note over here, what we'll see is the following. So we'll have the value of the option, so the option value, at the 55 node. will be equal to, well, I have to do the discount factor. So my discount factor is E to negative 
0.25, that is the step size. And then I go back, so that's a quarter of a year, so three months is a quarter of a year, times the risk-free rate, and the risk-free rate is 0 0.05. That's the discount factor. Then I have the probability that we got to that point from the 52 I'd notes, so that's gonna be P star, so times P star over here. And then times the discount, the payoff, which would be $10.50. And so if we, if we plug this into the calculator, what we'll see is the following. This is going to be times 10.5. And then we're going to do this times e to the negative 0.25 times 0.05. And we get the, this value when we compute this, tabulate this, is $2.65. Now, what happens over here is that that's the option value. The option value is $2.65. So now what we do is we compare this is important. So we compare the early exercise value with the option value. And we take the larger. Of the two. So in this case, we see that the larger of the payoff and the early exercise of the option is five. So we update this, and so our option premium, the premium of this option, what we'll do is we're gonna take the value of five, so that's gonna be my value at that 55 node. I'm gonna bring it back to time zero, so that's gonna be e to the minus point Two five. That's my time step times 0 0.05. That's the risk-free rate of return. So that's my time. That's my risk-free rate of return. And then the probability that that happens, p star. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put this into the calculator and we'll compute the option premium. So we have p star times five times e to the negative 0.25 times 0 0.05, and we see that the option premium all total is one dollar and twenty six cents. For eight, if we keep going for a few steps. And so this is the premium of the option. So in computing the premium of American options, you would do the ordinary value of the options at every node in the tree, and then you compare those with the early exercise value of the option, and you choose the larger values, and then use that to update your pricing scheme. Thank you very much.